I'm Bill Oliver, and this is my 1967 Ford Mustang Fastback. Let me give you a little background on it. When I graduated from high school in May of 1969, that was the first car I bought. The background goes that I grew up in Springfield, Massachusetts. So it went through rain and snow and salt and all that good stuff. In 1974, I moved to Los Angeles. I stored the car in my dad's yard and it stayed there for a year. And in 1975, I came home, I drove it to California and stayed in California for, oh boy, another 22 years. Drove it back to get married to my wonderful wife, Debbie, and then we drove back to California. My wife and I drove this Mustang in California until 1989. That was the year I took it off the road. The ball joints were going, the front end was going, the brakes were, were shot, and the underneath, from all the years in Massachusetts, the salt had taken its toll on the undercarriage, and there was a lot of rust, and it just wasn't safe anymore. And then in 1996, we moved to Wilmington, North Carolina. I got a real job. I tried to work on the car, but the summers there are just unbelievably brutal with the humidity. I retired about anyway. five years ago, and I said, okay, everybody knew I was getting ready to work on the, on the car. It took me a couple of years, I did things around the house, and then in May of 2020, I started disassembling the car. Took out the seats, took out the back seat, took out all the insides, took out the carpets, and realized that there was a lot more rust in the car than I had actually anticipated things that I couldn't fix. I made a couple of phone calls and one of the calls I made was to a Chris Hobbs. He was right here in Wilmington and he's known as the car restoration guy. He was so busy he said I couldn't get to the car for a couple of years. So he turned me on to Jim Daniels, Outback Motors. I talked to Jim, he came, the only guy that actually came to my house and looked at my car and said all the rust I could fix it and I said be my guest so he came in the beginning of December of 2020 and hauled it to his shop and had it for about five months eliminated all the rust cut out the floor panels that were rusted cut out the torque box that was all shot to hell put it all back together the battery holder was completely disintegrated, rebuilt all that, put all that back in new, had the engine rebuilt, had the transmission rebuilt, all new brake lines, all new gas lines, all new brakes. The car is practically brand new. It's probably better than when I bought it in 1969. And when I got it back from, from Jim, I sent it back to Chris Hobbs and he painted it. He stripped it down to every last all the way down to bare metal I've got some great pictures that I'll put on that you can see the, the progress but he had it for about a month and a half and then when I and while he was doing it I went and did all the all, all the little idiot things cleaned all the stainless polished all the chrome the bumpers you couldn't even tell they were bumpers and by the time I was done with a lot of elbow grease and hard work, the bumpers came out like they're brand new. The wheels, which I bought in 1971 from Richie's Speed Shop at the X in Springfield, Massachusetts, were Anson Sprints. I loved them because they were aluminum, but they were hard to keep clean. But they were completely a disaster. And I worked very, very hard polishing and polishing and a lot of elbow grease until they come out the way they look now just like the day I bought them and the day I bought them I only bought two if I remember correctly they were $35 a piece and at that time I was making about $1.60 an hour so I had to save up to buy two and I put them down in the cellar at my dad's house and I had to save up for about another two or three months to buy the other two at $70 Remember, it's $1.60 an hour. Then I had to save up to put some nice polyglass GT Goodyears on there. And I did that. So here we are now. 
in June of 2022 and the car is just about immaculate it is probably better than the day I bought it in 1969 when I was getting out of high school so I hope you enjoy this and I don't know if many people can do it but it's not an easy thing to keep a car for 53 years